All right, hey guys, it's uh, suburban time, as you can see back here. This is a 1995 GM, well, GMC, not a Chevrolet, but, well, you know, same thing. So 95, it's got 189,000 miles on it, got the big block in it, and this is the three-quarter ton model. And this thing is just in immaculate shape. So clean. Really nice to see somebody take care of something like this. This is a gem. I mean, there's no, there's not even any body rust. That's the amazing thing. The only rust on it is some on the front bumper. Or was it the front on this one? He's got two of these. Was it the front here or the back? Yeah, it was this green one that was rusty, I guess. This one doesn't have any rust anywhere on it. It's a 95 with 190,000 miles. And it just goes to show you, you know, if you actually take care of your stuff, it'll stay looking great. My 95 Ranger over there doesn't have any rust on it either. Just take care of your stuff. Anyway, let's take a look at what's going on with this thing. So the owner brought it in to me and he said, uh, let's see, you know, the rear door won't stay open. He had the glove box broke, which I already fixed. And just a vehicle check over. So, uh, yeah, there's the details there. 95, 189,000 miles. I don't like the last uh, six digits of that odometer, but oh well. <laughs> so, I already took care of the glove box. That was an easy fix. It just had some coins and business cards uh, jammed in it. But now, let me unlock it. I think it's time to get a new phone here sometime. I hate to focus on this. So anyway, as you can see, when you open these back door, barn doors here, these uh, door strap checks, or these check straps rather, they catch. But this one over here, it's not catching. As you can see, there's no resistance to hold the door open. So, common issue. Yeah, parts here. There go. That's all it is. It's basically all we have to do. Let's take that little C clip out right there. That little clip comes out, pin slides out, spring comes out with it. Pull the little check strap off. Put the new one in, and away you go. Simple and easy fix. There's the old strap. Here's the new one. You can see where it broke. Right there. That's why I wasn't holding it open. We'll take the spring off here. There she is, good as new. I'll put some WD-40 on it to stop that squeak. And that's all that's to it. Quick and easy fix.